chubby girl in the world and I am so excited because Eloquai has come out with a new collection, uh, Priscilla Ono by Eloquai. I don't know too much about Priscilla Ono and so I'm going to do a little bit of research and I'm going to talk a little bit about the designer at the end of this video. If you're someone who just wants to get into the clothes and know what my opinion is of them and like what I think, then stay tuned for that and we'll have a little bit of kind of... First of all, can we talk about my hair? I was inspired. I watched like a bunch of Madonna like music videos and I was super inspired. Like just, um, <laughs> let's get into the clothes. So Priscilla Ono by Eloquai. This is a beautiful spring collection and it is just full of color and I'm so excited about it. This is what I wish the Jason Wu collection would have been. So if you see these, um, they're going to have like rows of three or four pictures and usually one of the pictures is like just kind of like a glam shot of the models and clothes and I kind of dig that but at the same time it's like it doesn't help me see the clothes as they're actually going to be like it doesn't help to have like a glam filter over it like I wish people just like just show us the actual clothes not photoshop not filtered not anything like we need to be able to see what we're actually buying. So. That being said, this Priscilla Ono Eloquai Belted Cargo Dress, it's this beautiful like orange color. I'm not sure if it comes in different colors, but this is definitely a statement. Um, I, it's more of like a tangerine than really an orange. And so I feel like it avoids that like prison jumpsuit sort of look. Um, I, I, again, am not, I don't know how I feel about belted dresses. I feel like belted dresses are meant to be able to give you a little bit of leeway about whether or not you're going to be able to like cinch your waist in and give you a little bit more definition. And so this uh, Priscilla Ono Eloquai belted banana pant, I at first didn't really dig these pants. I thought like these are just kind of weird looking, um, but looking at the darting and looking at the way that it's constructed, I kind of want these now. I sort of want them in my collection and it's like a, a more modern version of khaki. Um, I don't know if you guys ever worked at a place where like you had to wear khaki pants. So I worked at a place called Great America when I was a young buck well not a young buck but a young gazelle um and you had to wear khaki pants like you had to like the dickies khaki pants and those looked so bad on me they were just awful and so like i kind of had flashbacks when i saw this but when you really look at these these are really flattering pants like they're tapered and meant to be flattering they don't like the darting is supposed to kind of avoid the bunchiness of like traditional khakis so I can sort of understand why this person went that direction because a lot of times you do want a lighter pant or you want something that has maybe a different material in the spring and summer because, you know, it gets warm. I, I'm interested, but I don't know if I'm on board just yet. So this one uh, is the Priscilla Ono Eloquai Utility Jumpsuit. So we all know if you're a long time viewer, you know that I don't like jumpsuits. I think they're dumb and I think anything that makes it harder for you to pee is just dumb. I think they're dumb. Um, I think they're just dumb as a concept. However, this is a beautiful lime green color. If this was like a blazer or a shirt or a pair of pants, I would be on board 100%. Uh, this is the Priscilla Eloquai Sheer Moto Jacket. And so at first I was like, why would anyone want a sheer moto jacket? Like, why would you want that? And then I thought about, well, I have a lot of like spring tops that are super cute and pretty, but sometimes get covered up with a cardigan or a jacket when it's raining or it's cold outside where, you know, you want to go from like daytime to nighttime and maybe you're wearing a super cute outfit, but you don't want to cover it up with a jacket. And so then you're either cold or you're covering up the cute thing. And I was like, this is a really good idea to have a sheer jacket, you know, Eloquai cross front crop pant. I don't love these. So only because, so these wouldn't be a good choice for me because I'm four foot 11 and a half. I tell people I'm five feet, but I'm really four foot 11 and a half. And anything that has like those big palazzo pants or like, even if they're short, like the crop pants, it just looks like I'm wearing tents on my legs. Like it doesn't look good. 
And even if I wear high heels, which I never do, but even when I do wear high heels, it just looks like a bunch of different fabric. And what I've learned for my frame and just my style is that I don't like a ton of fabric on my body. I want fabric in strategic places and I want ruching in strategic places and I want things to help cover up stuff that I don't necessarily want to be showing off and then I want things to just kind of show off the things that I really do like. This Priscilla Ono Eloquai Sheer Bodysuit with Underwire, I think that this is um, for clubbing and for your intimate times. <laughs> um, and it should be, it looks like it's a piece that you could use over and over again. Um, those, like those kind of like under, like foundational garments and stuff, usually every brand has those and they build them to last. Um, I would be a little bit hesitant about a sheer bodysuit, just because I'd be afraid that it would rip. Um, I'd be afraid it would rip and uh, spending $60 for something that's sheer and the material, I, I I feel like that's something you pick up at Adam and Eve for like $30 and if it rips, it rips. Um, I don't see, I, I don't see why you would spend twice as much money for something that's pretty much the same exact material. This is the Priscilla Ono Eloquai makeup holder bag. So this little belt that she's wearing here uh, for $79.95. Um, sis, no. <laughs> I am not paying $80 for a makeup bag. You're gonna be the Batman of makeup? Are you gonna like run around like throwing throwing lipstick stars at people? Like what, what is this for? Like who, who asked, in the words of Angelica Nyquist, who asked for this? Like what is this? What is this craziness? Just no, just no. Okay, this thing has me a little bit on the fence. This is the Priscilla Ono Eloquai Ruffle Sleeve Smoked Bodice Top. So if you are gonna go to a lot of like outdoor concerts, you're going to festival, if you were going to Coachella, this would be like the perfect thing for you to go wear. If you're going to Coachella or if you're going to like festivals or if you're going to just like outdoor activities, this is something that looks cute and it looks like it's kind of comfortable and like not too heavy. And I honestly, like they really want me to play HQ right now. So I honestly, I don't love ruffles and I don't love these kinds of ruffles either, but I recognize that it's a look, it's a, it's a festival look. And so if I was going to wear this, um, I wouldn't pick it up for this price point. Um, I would go pick up something similar from like Target's Wild Fable line for like $30 um, because I'm not gonna wear, I'm just, I'm not gonna wear this. If you're someone who this just speaks to you and you, and you just love this aesthetic where you really feel like you're, you love the ruffles and you love, you're gonna wear this like every weekend, then yeah, invest in something a little bit higher end that's probably gonna last you a little bit longer. This is the Priscilla Ono Eloquite Belted Blazer with Pockets. One, I think the pink color, this like corally pink color is amazing. Um, I want this color in a lipstick. I, I want it. Uh, two, I think that anything with pockets is fantastic. Um, I don't hate the price point and here's why. Um, blazers, you're gonna use over and over and over again. So I purchased this blazer from Simply B for probably around the $60 price point about three years ago. It's still a little too big for me now, but I like, I kind of like an oversized blazer and it does have pockets. This is a Priscilla Ono Eloquai uh, sheer collared shirt, the blue one down at the very end. Again, $70 for a sheer blouse just doesn't make any sense to me because again, Target Wild Fable is probably gonna come out with a dupe for this if they don't already have one. And just that price point, just, it doesn't make any sense because again, sheer material is gonna be made out of like nylon. And I don't think there's that many, I don't think there's that many differentiations in between grades of nylon or rayon that are really going to 
like make it a long lasting garment. So, uh, this is the Priscilla Ono Eloquai Belted Palazzo Pants. So we talked a little bit about how I don't love the idea of palazzo pants or the, you know, lots and lots of material. But again, if you're a very tall person and you're someone who struggles um, to find, you know, pants that are maybe like loose fitting and you're really not into any kind of like body con and you're not you don't want tight pants these might be a good option for you but frankly to me it just looks like you're wearing a giant skirt like it doesn't I I, I don't dig it I don't dig this particular set of pants I don't dig it uh, these ones though, the Priscilla Eloquai Cargo Pants Jogger with Belt. So we saw the blazer before and this model's wearing that pink blazer, but she's also wearing the jogger pants with the belt. So I kind of get jogger pants, but to me they're a little too close to harem pants, which let's just not talk about harem pants. Like let's just pretend harem pants never existed. Should we? Yeah, let's just pretend that. Um, the cargo jogger pants, I can sort of understand where they're going with this. I, I just, I was like, mm, no, let's not, let's not do that. And so I love that this brand is going for bright colors. And I think one news outlet called it like unapologetic, which I think is weird, but true at the same time like the makeup belt makes more sense now that i know who priscilla ono is uh priscilla ono is rihanna's makeup artist which is freaking amazing that's awesome congrats priscilla congrats girl um she's apparently rocking the makeup and fashion world at the same time which is awesome and in the for it was the forbes magazine article and i'll link it down below if you want to read it where they're talking about, um, the reporter is talking about how in plus size fashion, historically, it's kind of built to minimize and flatter um, with the idea that like plus size women should, should that want to and should be trying to hide. People who are plus size are like humans too and deserve to be represented in fashion and in beauty. And so I think it's, freaking awesome that um, Priscilla Ono gets to have this platform where she's not only, you know, working on Rihanna's makeup, which that must be like the freaking height of your career. But then, oh yeah, by the way, I'm just going to make a plus size collection that's freaking awesome. So that $80 makeup belt, like that makes a little bit more sense if you take the collaborator into consideration and if you yourself are a makeup artist, then like that's something I never thought about. Like if you're a make plus size makeup artist, like do they, you know, do people not make like cool belts that are in plus sizes that you can wear? But like in my head, I just imagine like somebody wearing this like out on the town with like a makeup belt, like, you know, they're, like they're gonna draw their lipstick. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like that's in my head what it was, but it's like, oh, she's a makeup artist. Like that makes so much more sense. So sorry, Priscilla, I'm dumb. And uh, yeah, you can, you can come beat me up. Like that's, you know, I mean, you don't have time to cause you're too busy like winning at life. But I think that that's kind of amazing. And I think that, I hope that more and more, I hope this pushes companies like Lane Bryant to go forward and, and push the boundaries and make more sophisticated clothing and make more clothing that is kind of avant-garde and more interesting. Just want to, I want companies to keep coming up with like more interesting and different and not treat plus size people as a monolith and not because plus size people aren't all the same like not everybody wants the same thing not everybody is the same size not everyone has the same proportions and so but I want Lane Bryant and like Torrid and um and just other other companies to kind of keep pushing that envelope and just kind of keep innovating and not just to kind of copy what straight size fashion is doing but to actually design for plus size people I did a video like really early on in my channel about how there are no programs right now in the United States for designers to learn how to design 
for plus size people. There's really only a way for them to size up. That's all, all that they're taught. And so if you don't have like a frame of reference and you don't have the things that are just, if you just don't have the ability to have that skill set and no one's taught you and it's literally, you're literally having to innovate from the ground up and having to reinvent the wheel every single time you design a garment, then it makes sense that there aren't that many people who do. And I just think that that needs to change and it's a billion dollar industry and I I want to see the Marc Jacobs is I want to see the you know the um I want to see not to see the Yves Saint Laurent's of the world the um Ralph Lauren's like Ralph Lauren has plus sizes I think up to like a 2x but guess what Ralph Lauren like I'm not a 2X, like I'm a 3, 4X, and guess what? If you brought out clothes that were fitted to me, then I would be mortgaging my, my future away to buy those things that made me feel luxurious, that made me feel, because every single person wants to feel a little bit above their station, right? Like we all wanna feel that luxurious feeling and before, the reason that brands would not invest in plus size clothing, at least what they would say, is that, well, you know, plus size women don't want to invest in clothing because they think they they thought that plus size women were going to, you know, lose weight and therefore didn't want to invest in clothing. Well, the problem with that is, is that there's lots of people who don't necessarily want to lose weight or, you know, they still want nice clothing even if they don't or even while they're trying to lose weight like i'm on a mission to lose another 60 pounds but i still want to look good while i do it and so i really just think that there's a lot of money on the table that these brands are leaving and congrats to eloquai and patricia ono for trying to uh serve this community and give back to them like i don't agree with all the fashion decisions that were made um but at the same time, I'm glad that somebody is going forward and thinking of it and not being afraid to use color and not being afraid to, you know, be a little bit more avant-garde. So, like I said, even though I don't agree with all the choices and price points, I understand where this is going. And so, thank you lovelies for hanging out with me today and talking about this amazing new collection from Eloquai. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and I cannot wait to read them and talk to you guys about it. Thanks so much and have a fantastic day. Bye!